Peace. So what's going on? I haven't been on YouTube in a minute, so this video is going to be a little something that I'm that I'm just dropping for the second. I would like to understand why we allow the system to give us leaders. You understand? And why we don't challenge it. You know what I'm saying? Um, specifically, I'm speaking specifically, celebrities and entertainers. You know what I mean? It's strange how I see celebrities and entertainers taking positions as so-called leaders. It's like when they have no leadership qualities at all. They have entertaining qualities. They have charisma. But they really have no leadership skills. They really have no leadership science within them. You understand what I'm saying? All they have is that title of celebrity or entertainer or athlete. These are the things, these are these are the required titles for, for anyone to become a quote, quote unquote so-called leader of the quote unquote so-called black community. Celebrity, entertainer, or athlete. You understand what I mean? And the thing is, is that the celebrity, entertainer, or athlete is given to us. Real leaders are chosen by the people. A real leader or leaders isn't given to someone. They're chosen by the people. Real leaders come out of the very out of the very paradigm that they're trying to alter, fix, or change. They come out of the very people that they're trying to save, that they work amongst, that they live amongst. That's where leadership come, comes from. It comes from the grassroots. That's where it comes from. You know what I'm saying? When somebody gives you leadership, Whoever gave the leadership is in, in, a, in, a, in, 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 in a position of power. Why? Because when they give you leadership, that leadership has an agenda that's given to the leadership. You understand what I'm saying? That has to be trickled down to the people. So that's a form of ultimate control. You know, it's always said that those, you know what I'm saying, who can, whose thoughts are controlled, their actions don't have to be worried about. And celebrities, entertainers, and athletes are controlled thoughts. They're controlled by a system. And money is the, is, is, the, is the main goal for them, as well as them selling their souls through rituals and so on and so forth. So, to me, real leadership isn't entertainers, celebrities, or athletes. Like I said, those people, those things are given to us, and they're given to us with a particular agenda. You know what I'm saying? They all have an agenda. See, leader, those people, entertainers, celebrities... They lead, but they lead you in the opposite direction. They lead you into destruction and degeneration on purpose. That's the game. You know what I'm saying? Because when you can break down a, a demographic of people and put them in their lowest state, they become a great commodity to, to a system. You understand what I'm saying? When you can have a person acting in their lowest nature, they become a great commodity to the system because the system is built on the reception of the low nature. It's built on consequence for the low nature, but there's money in the vibration of the low nature. You see what I'm saying? So entertainers and celebrities and athletes are put in place to sway us from our best and strongest possibilities. Back in the institution of slavery, entertainment was the tool that one may have utilized to get a little better favor on other slaves than others could. You understand what I'm saying? The 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 the, the royal bat. You know what they what they call the royal rumbles now in WWF. They used to have it amongst the, the amongst the slave men, the AKA the POW men. They used to have that same thing going on. Brothers fighting each other, put them in corners and so on and so forth. They fight each other and they entertain these slave masters, these Europeans. They entertain them. Then you had the court jester, like in the, in the Middle Ages, what they called the clown, the funny one. You know what I'm saying? Who always made massa laugh. You know what I'm saying? That laughter got that person a little bit more uh, benefit than it did that fail hand or so on and so forth. So entertainment has always been a measuring stick of how the, it, how, how the European can control our people and how our own people control us. You know what I'm saying? They're tools that are, that are used to keep us in a particular state of docility. You understand what I'm saying? So like I said, entertainment, entertainers, celebrities, they are not leaders. They could... And I don't understand why we continue to allow a system to give us our leaders. You understand what I'm saying? Because we're not really checking for that reality. Because see, real leadership, real leadership begets other leadership. Real leadership deals with goals. It has outcomes. You know what I'm saying? Short-term, long-term goals. And it works in a holistic perspective manner. You understand what I'm saying? That's how leadership works. That's just one of the aspects of it. You, you, and in the process, we don't allow... Another person's ideology, in this sense, coming from an entertainer, an athlete, 
you know what I'm saying, or a celebrity because they're the worst. How could they talk to you about marriage and so on and so forth? Steve Harvey write books, how to think like a man and so on and so forth. And he's unsuccessful in every relationship he's ever had. How is he, the, how can he lead somebody into a healthy relationship when he can't even demonstrate one? You see what I'm saying? Oprah Winfrey talks about marriage and all of these things that she don't even live out. You understand? So we, you know, Jay-Z's a billionaire. Beautiful. I celebrated. I, I, but the question is, is how did he get the billions? Yeah, we know he had title and all of those things, but how did he get to that level to even get to that? There were some deals that had to be made. There were some things that had to be understood. You understand when, 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 when in that world, man, because that world is a sacrifice world. There's things that you got to give up. So real leadership, again, is not entertainers or celebrities or athletes. You know what I mean? That's just from the old cycle of the institution of slavery. And that's the indoctrination that we are oppressed in order to have success in this country. As quote unquote so-called blacks, you better be able to sing. You better be able to dance. You better be able to shoot a basketball. Or you better make somebody laugh. That's why comedy in the old days was much more stronger and much more politically inclined than the comedy is today. You know, Dick Gregory said, you know, I used to crack jokes so I, so I wouldn't have to cry. You know what I'm saying? So they've taken our plight and everything have made billions and billions of dollars off of it and, and has turned it into entertainment. They even show you still when they make movies like 12 Years a Slave, The Butler, The Maze, and so on and so forth. And these movies are made by people, directed by people who look just like us, but they can only get these movies into Hollywood when they reflect a particular type of stereotypical message and idea about us. See, when you, when you maintain control of someone, you want to keep bombarding them with the imagery of... of of low level, you know what I'm saying, character. You want to bombard them with the imagery of weakness. You want to bombard them with the energy of lack of self-control and so on and so forth. You want to reinforce that stereotype. And that stereotype is reinforced consistently and continuously, not only by a system that's implanted over generations, but by us today. Because now we are acting out those particular types of characteristics. You see what I'm saying? So, no. Entertainment don't entertainment is not leadership. Celebrities is not leaders. You understand what I'm saying? Athletes are not leaders. Even though as individuals they may have some of them can do things individually and they may have some successes, but the question is is why are they doing it? You understand what I mean? Is it really because they love the people? Is it really be or is it because they want more play into the society, more influence and control? So when they make a power move. The people will fall right in. And that power move will not benefit the people. It never does. You understand what I'm saying? So those things don't move me too much. Um, the billions of dollars. I respect it. He worked. But there's some things that, that, you know, that he had to do as well. You know what I'm saying? Because this is Hollywood. And Hollywood has rules. It has rituals. And it has a dark side. And there's a dark side to entertainment. There's a dark side to these cats. You know what I'm saying? Becoming these millionaires and billionaires as if that's the only way that you will have any success in this society is by being an entertainer, a singer, a dancer, or an athlete. No, you can have success a thousand other ways, but you've been indoctrinated. You know what I'm saying? A mother will give her son a basketball before she gives him a book. A father will give his son, you know what I'm saying, two turntables and a microphone before he gives him a dictionary. This is what I'm saying. And we got to understand what Hollywood is. It's a cast. It's a spell. The entertainers and all of those people, they're witches and that sorcery that they're working. Why? Because Hollywood is, is exactly that. It's a magical place. Stay over there, brother. It's a magical place. The holly tree was always used for medicinal and, and ritualistic things. For medicinal and ritualistic things, Hollywood was always used. It was always used. You understand? And in the process of being used... They used it to make wands and to, to execute rit rituals and spells with Hollywood. Hence, Hollywood is a witch, you know, a place of sorcery. So there's certain things that you have to do in order to prosper even in that world. You see what I mean? So sell, selling, selling soul is important. Very important. You know what I mean? So I just want you to understand that leaders are not celebrities. They're not entertainers. They're not athletes. Real leaders come from the very communities that they're raised up in. Real leaders are made by the people. The people create leaders. The people create the leader. Not a system telling you who, who your leaders are. Because when a system tells you who your leaders are, the system is telling you that they're under control. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being stated, peace.